In today's video, guys, I'm going to go over my Nintendo Switch collection, which is the other collection after the PlayStation one we just did. If you haven't seen that in the description below, that was a massive collection. This one's a lot smaller, but the games in this actual collection are insane. Let's talk about it. What is going on guys, Jimmy wrote a video today and this is the second collection video in one week. I hope you guys enjoyed the PlayStation 1. I know I got so many people with great comments and so many people watching it. Thank you so much. But today it is Nintendo side of things. The Xbox collection is only digital. That's the only reason why I'm not showing that off. Because I have like three games physical. And uh, I really love all three systems. But I definitely cannot stress this enough. This Switch collection is a lot of quality over quantity. It makes sense. Before we get started today's video, guys, if you consider hitting that subscribe button, like this video, comment down below. We are over 500 subscribers because of you guys. This channel is all because of you guys. Thank you so much. Let's get started. First, we have Paper Mario and the Origami King. This was a very interesting one on Black Friday. This was 25 pre Black Friday. I grabbed it. It was out of stock. It was back on the site for $52 a week later and it hasn't been on sale since. And it's been a, a you it's still out of stock, I think. But this game just went quick and it has been on there since. This game, I played it and it's very unique. The combat, not the coolest thing in the in the in the world, but it's very unique. If you played it, you'll know what I'm saying. Up next we have Bayonetta 3. Picked this up uh on uh with a trading deal when I got the Call of Duty and stuff like that. Have not played this yet. What's the point of opening this or playing this when I haven't played the first two, which I will play definitely sometime soon. Cannot wait to play Bayonetta 3. Up next, you have Monster Hunter Generations, another pla game in plastic. Uh, I played on 3DS a good amount, so I know what it's like. Uh, it's Monster Hunter. It's fun. It's a good time. Up next, we have New Super Mario and Luigi U. Sold this a while back. Regretted it. Got it at Best Buy recently. You saw in the pickup video. This was only 42 for a price match. And uh, it's got a weird sticker here. Uh, this is not used like GameStop does. It's actually in plastic. But I cannot wait to go back and play this with my girlfriend. This is a very fun co-op game. It's like the you know the original Mario games. My we we there's been so many versions. A red box on the Wii, blue on the Wii U, and now this is yellow one on the Switch. Like was her purple one going to be on like the next Switch? It's insane. Up next we have Pokemon Scarlet. Got this Need for Speed recently. Like I said, you saw in the other video. I cannot wait to see this game eventually i'm not going to be playing this for a while because i have to play legends arceus and stuff like that but i heard that this game was a disaster at first hope it get fixed by them but i think it's getting a patch and that's why we got it. up next we have disney magical world 2 the enchanted edition this is animal crossing meets disney this is my version how i would definitely play it i i love how my girlfriend loves animal crossing when we play this together this is where it's at. This is Disney. We were big Disney fans from the 90s and before that. Up next we have Ace Attorney Chronicles. I can see this one being extremely rare one day, like the latent games. I haven't played it yet, but I definitely know what I've played on the demo. This is your trial kind of game, like the Dane Rampa games, and I cannot mm -hmm. wait to play this. Up next we have Pikmin 3. Pikmin 3 is a very, very unique game. I played this on the Wii U when it was on there and I loved it. This is a great game, very unique, and it's got the Ultimate Edition stuff here, and it's a very, very charming game, and uh, except that Britney girl, that Britney girl is weird. Up next, we have Neo, The World Ends With You. It's the sequel to The World Ends With You, and the reason why I picked this up, even though the, despite the first one having the weirdest combat on the Switch uh, and the controls, I love Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, and that's where these guys are at, and that's why I want to play it so bad. Up next, we have Kirby Star Allies. This was a game that was very very underrated i would say this is this is a game that wasn't really known as well as the other kirby games this one is the kirby of the pikmin games where you get these buddies they follow you abilities all kinds of stuff you played i'm sure kirby star allies some plastic played it a while ago got rid of it in one of those trading deals i'm like why did i sell that got it back got it in plastic and i cannot wait to play it this time for real up next we have a Black Friday and Super Mario Party Superstars deal we got here. And this was one of the best deals of Black Friday. This was $29. Cannot wait to play the new Mario Party. Up next we have Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. My girlfriend played a good amount of this. I've seen her play this. This is a classic game remade and it's perfect. Oh, this is a near perfect game, seriously. Up next we have Bayonetta 1 and 2 Double Pack. You see it right there. It's rare. Cannot wait to play the Bayonetta games before I get to the next one. Sadly, if you're on, on Xbox or PlayStation, you can only play Bayonetta 1, not 2 or 3. It's crazy. Nintendo just took over that. Up next, you have the collection I've played many times over as a kid, except Sunshine. That's Nicole's, that's Nicole's favorite game. My favorite game would be Galaxy. I, or, no, 64 Mario would be my favorite. 
I played these as a kid. We tried the remaster out. It looks much better than what reviewers are complaining about. I'm glad to have this collection. And this is one of the collections that will be rare one day. Up next we have Animal Crossing New Horizons. This is 100% my girlfriend's game. This is a very, very charming game from what I've seen. And uh, Animal Crossing is very known. Up next we have Luigi's Mansion 3. I really want to play this. I've said this in the, my last eShop video uh, for the deals. I need to play this because I played the first one and loved it as a kid. This one, I've seen so many cool boss fights and so many cool moments uh, from just trailers. Up next we have a game I also really want to play in. It's Shin Megami Tensei 5. This is the Steelbook Edition. This, I don't know if this is hard to find anymore, but I know it was 25 on Black Friday for the game and that was a steal. This is Persona 5 in a nutshell. If you love Persona 5 and you want a game that's up to date with the graphics like that, and the same sort of game, but a little different, obviously, a little different. It's Shimagami Tensei 5. If the Nocturne one we did on the other video, that would be more towards the PS2 graphic level. Up next, we have Astral Chain. I talked about this as well in the Nintendo eShop video on Sunday, last Sunday. This is a very unique game. It's like it's like the wonderful 101 twist, just like that, but it's different. If they have these Astral Chains, they call them. Their chains, I think they're called. I haven't played too much of it, but I, I know these things attached to your character. And it, it's so unique. Let me know what you guys think about that game. Next, we have Disney Magical World 2. Again, I, this is the only game we have two of because we play this game at the same time together when we play it. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. If you love Mario Kart, this is probably the definitive version. They're bringing all these courses back for Nintendo Online members. It, dude, just get the membership because you're getting that. You're getting the retro games. You're getting the Animal Crossing expansion. It's one of the best things I've seen, seriously. And I haven't played this in a while. I haven't even played the... DLC. I'm going to try to soon, seriously, but I, I've played a good amount of this in the past. Definitely one of the best Mario Karts, hands down. Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. Uh, I'm a huge Donkey Kong fan. I hope they continue the series one day. hope they bring the Wii one to the remaster someday as well, but this is one of the best Wii U games that was ported to the Switch. I love Donkey Kong, hands down. Uh, just one of the best. Up next, we have a game I also really, really like, and I grew up with it, and I love this collection. This is easily... The coolest collection they come out with since the Turtles one. This is Calabunga. This is Aladdin, Lion King, and Jungle Book all remastered. All these games are remastered and put onto a Switch cartridge and PlayStation and Xbox. I got the Switch version here because it closely resembles where I grew up with with the Nintendo system. So I got on here. Keep in mind this also could include Toy Story maybe one day, but only we can only hope. But yes, this is an excellent collection. And yes, I have the one with the Super Nintendo Aladdin, not the second one, finally. I had to sell that other collection to get this one. It was like, why Why did they do that later? Up next, you have Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Uh, this is the most nostalgic Pokemon game you can play, and this is the one I played a good amount of out of the other ones. Uh, I Speaking of that, I can do all the impressions of Pokemon Gen 1, so if you want to see that, check the other channel in my impressions video, but I can do... Poly, poly, poly world, poly world. I could do all kinds of impressions like coughing, coughing. Yeah, seriously, wrong channel. One more, one more. Side up, side up, side up. All right, Eevee, definitely. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee. Great games. Up next, we have Super Mario 3D World and the uh, Bowser's Fury add-on. Another stellar game from the Wii U ported to the Switch was Mario 3D World. I loved it. I cannot wait to play this on the Switch. Up next, we have Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. This is a game that I'm surprised that was good after what I've seen at E3 and whatever year this was. This is an excellent, unique game. It's like XCOM, but with Mario characters. And I actually do got the second one because I got it from Amazon today. I got it on for 40 It was a great deal. But I cannot wait to play the series. And I got the all the DLC cheap, so I have the Donkey Kong expansion. Of course, I got the Donkey Kong stuff because I love DK. Speaking of Mario Rabbit's, here's Sparks of Hope in plastic. Just picked it up. Uh, let me know how this one is. I hear this one is even better, but I, this one's a 90 on Metacritic. Cannot wait to play it. Next, we have a game I think it might be the rarest one in this pile one day from future other uh, ref, uh, from future sales from the other games, and that's Professor Layton's daughter, the Cottrell, uh Layton's mystery journey, Cottrell and the Millionaire's Conspiracy. Say that five times without messing up. But seriously, I love the Professor Layton games that I played. They're super rare on the 3DS. They need to bring them over to Switch. Hopefully, the next Direct does that. I can only hope, but this one is a very underrated one in the series, and it's the last one because it doesn't have anything to do with him, I'm assuming, so yes, this one, I was so happy when they brought it to the Switch. It's going up in value, just like the other ones are, too. Uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, I uh, played a good amount of this, uh, my girlfriend's played way more of this. This is the best Zelda game, hands down, for me, because it feels more like a easier i guess streamlined version of dark souls with, with the actual boss fights and how fun they are 
but it also feels like an adventure game. Like, just it's it's an, it's, its own level. Seriously, let me. Know. This game, I gotta play it soon. Up next, we have Super Smash Brothers for, uh, Ultimate. They're not joking when they say Ultimate. This game has all the DLC. It's got. Listen to this. It's got Banjo Kazooie. It's got freaking Joker. Not not from Batman. From Persona. And last but not least, it's got Sora from Kingdom Hearts. I need to go back and play this. Seriously, it's the most definitive version. You have to buy those DLC, by the way. And there's a lot of other ones, like some Minecraft character as well. It's weird. Super Mario Odyssey. This is probably one of the Switch games I put the most time into because I do play a lot of PlayStation when over this. And Nicole's beaten this. This is a very charming game and a very, very good adventurous game. Mario Odyssey. Hopefully they get a sequel to that. Here's a game I want to play soon. I played this uh, when I was streaming Pokemon on their channel, but then I went right back to the cards. <laughs> New Pokemon Snap. This is the Pokemon Snap, pretty much, uh, not sequel, but new new version. Just a new Pokemon Snap. And you can see Meganium on there, Pichu. You got uh, Cutie Fly, I think it is, Grookey, and I know all of them now. Uh, before I started doing the cards in 2020 again, I just knew Gen 1 and 2 from when I was a kid in the 90s, but now I know all of them. Uh, Meganium's obviously from Gen 2. Obviously Pikachu, or that's Pichu from Gen 2 as well. No Gen 1 on here? Oh, Pikachu, and there's the duo. There's your Pokemon. Uh, lesson for today. Played a decent amount of it, it's fun, but I need to go back and play some more. Up next we have Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker. Speaking of that Mario 3D world, this is a mode that was implemented in the game. It was Captain Toad with different levels like that, and they made it into a game. One of the most freaking addicting things one of the most unique things they've come out with and this was on wii u it got ported to switch this was a must for the switch and it's got odyssey levels i think it might took 3d world levels out who knows here's a game that was on sale the other day for the best buy deal of the day probably hands down the best game deal and i was uh legend of zelda skyward sword hd uh this was an excellent freaking game for when i played on the wii uh the motion controls are fun uh i need to go back and play this on the switch cannot wait to play this this game uh, was 30 just a week ago, like four days ago. I had to post and everything for the deal of the day for the 12 days of Christmas for uh, for gaming. Next, we have Yoshi's Crafted World. This is a very, very charming and unique Yoshi game. Cannot wait to go back and play it. It's hands down better than Wooly World, except the Amiibo functionality on that game was actually cool for once, and I really wish it would come to the Switch, but those Amiibos, those things are gimmicks, man, unless it's certain games. Next, we have Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. I got this when it first came out because uh, I know who Dialga and Palkia are, finally. Yeah, I need to actually play this game. <laughs> I'm actually at Metroid Dread. This is one of the games I was testing for a previous trading deal that was huge last year. Not this year. It was definitely last year. And this is an addictive game. This is so difficult, too. I love it. Cannot wait to play this on the hardcore mode, whatever mode it's called. But I'll be playing it soon. Hopefully, we get the next Metroid actual first-person game sometime soon. Maybe the collection. But that, that could happen. Three games left. We have Kirby and the Forgotten Land. This is literally your Mario Odyssey Kirby game. I've seen Nicole play this, and this is definitely better than Star Allies, hands down, from what I've seen. Definitely cannot wait to play this. Next, we have Pokemon Legend Arceus. I was just talking about it before. I have not played this, but I definitely know about this because I collect the cards and stuff. And last but certainly not least is the uh, end of the Sword and Shield era we're actually in right now. We're about to pass it. It's the Sword and Shield game. This is Shield with the expansion with Urshifu and... Yeah, this right here is the game I will know very well since I've been... I started when the Sword and Shield era started, and I just... And now we're about to enter the Scarlet and Violet era, but this right here is a game I must play soon. That's it, guys, for the Switch collection. It's not as big. It's still over 30 games. You'll see this uh, total right here on the screen. I enjoy the Switch, but I need to play it more. Hands down, I need to play this a lot more. I cannot wait to do that. There's too many PlayStation games. Gotta, gotta mix it up better. And Xbox, gotta mix all three of them. And PC. Oh, <laughs> let me in the comment section what you guys think. What is your favorite Switch game on this list today from this pile? What is your least favorite? Let me know which games I'm missing. Yes, there's a lot of games coming out. Uh, I can't wait for the Kirby uh, Return to Dreamland remaster coming, the one from the Wii to the Switch next year. That's a must have because I actually love that Kirby game. Uh, it's actually rare as hell right now, too. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Uh, stay off and stay positive. Most of all, stay safe, and I'll see you. Peace out, guys.